In other news today, our dollar is in uncharted territory this noon hour. It has climbed a cent and two thirds to a dollar six seventy nine U.S. And some analysts predict it could hit a buck ten by the end of the year. Earlier this week, uh, we were hearing maybe a dollar seven, but hey, now a buck ten. Nick Bonas is live at the DeGroote School of Business today to talk more about this. Hi, Nick. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Well, despite the attraction of cross-border shopping and lower vacation costs in the sun for we Canadians, it seems that this high dollar isn't doing much to help our economy, Nick. It's, uh, it's falling apart all around us. Well, I mean, there are announcements obviously made with job losses. We had the uh, Chrysler announcement uh, mm -hmm. a couple of days ago. Uh, but generally speaking, there are some positives and some negatives. Positives, of course, uh, if you can find a, a bonus deal in the U.S., you go for it. The negatives are that there are uh, resource costs here in Canada. Obviously, uh, the price of oil is going up. I think it hit about $94 today. It might hit 100 bucks. If it hits 100 Oof. bucks, that means the price of gas is going to skyrocket too. And of course, it'll be perfect timing just before Christmas, you know, I'm predicting we might be upwards of a buck ten or a buck fifteen for gas, so that's going to hurt the wallet a little bit. It will, but uh, what about the dollar itself? Do you think it hit, it could hit a buck ten or a buck fifteen? Does well, that seem probable at all? If you look at the fundamentals, obviously in terms of our resource-based economy, uh, obviously the oil is going up, timber prices, wheat prices, um, gold prices, all those prices are going up, which are supporting our dollar. On the flip side, the U.S. economy is not doing as well as it would like. Uh, we still have some instability in the Middle East. A um, couple of economists, uh, one from Scotia Bank and one from Bank of Montreal, came out this morning and predicted a buck ten. By Christmas, and uh, you know, I'll just throw my hat in the ring and say the momentum that we've had just from Labor Day till now seems like it's going to continue, and we might be getting, getting a buck ten by Christmas. So, what Nick would be the ideal exchange rate for Canada? I've heard seventy or ninety-five cents would be would be a good spot for our dollar to be. Do you think that's the case as well? Actually, you know what? The perfect exchange rate for Canada would be to not have an exchange rate at all. The perfect exchange rate would be to fix the Canadian dollar to the American dollar so that there is no issue of currency reconciliation and trade agreements and NAFTA and tariffs. Then we would have little transaction costs. You wouldn't have two prices on every single book. You wouldn't have people complaining about buying cars in the U.S. It would solve so many transaction costs mm -hmm. if we were to just peg our dollar to the U.S. dollar. And you know what? If we maintain this momentum through Christmas and maybe for another six months after that, which people are predicting, there might be an argument for the federal government to look at that issue. We did look at it once before back in the 70s. We might be introducing it again in the 30 years. Frankly, personally, I'd be very happy if we pegged our uh, Canadian dollar to the American greenback. That made it sound awfully simple, Nick. If it's that simple, why haven't we done it already? Well, because it's very complicated, of course. <laughs> uh, some economies want that and some economies don't. It's yeah. not just the consumer. Manufacturers have pros and cons with uh, pegging the uh, green back. So it, it is a very complicated issue. But obviously, for the last 30 years, we didn't have to deal with it because we were down in the 60, 70 cents doldrums. Uh, now that we're back on top again, you know, the issue resurfaces. All right, Nick Bonas from the DeGroote School of Business. Nick, thank you for this information today. All right. We'll just have to keep an eye on that dollar. Heavens knows where it's going to close at the end of trading today for the weekend. All right, Dan, have a nice weekend. You as well.